Hello viewers. In a home like this, who resides? Not us. The property shown in Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary wasn't theirs, rather, it was the notorious CEO's $33 million Montecito estate, which he used to steal $116 million from handicapped veterans. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel, without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. It is without a doubt a home fit for royalty with its expansive views of the Pacific Ocean, towering wood ceiling, and immaculately furnished interior. Additionally, fans of Harry and Meghan's Netflix series may be excused for thinking that the couple was recorded in their £11 million, $13 million, Montecito, California, mansion. The lavish backdrop, however, was actually a spectacular home much more expensive than their own, £27.3 million, pounds, $33 million, 13,599 square foot, six-bedroom, iconic, Montecito estate mansion that is currently for sale. Less well known is the fact that the estate once belonged to disgraced Quadrigo Art CEO Mark Schulholch, who was accused of stealing $116 million in a fundraising scheme that targeted handicapped veterans. The property used for filming at 888 Lilac Lane, which is nine minutes away from the Sussex's actual house which they purchased in 2020, includes a Wimbledon-caliber lawn, a pool, a spa, a private gym, and pebbled paths, according to the estate agent's glowing description. Although the couple in the Netflix series never officially claimed that the home belonged to them, the inside, with its crystal chandeliers, tall 24-foot ceilings, and private cinema, grabbed a lot of attention. The mansion's great room, which is flooded with light from the double-height arched windows that line the back of the house, was commended by prestigious Architectural Digest magazine. Others, however, criticized the pair as tone-deaf for being featured in such a beautiful home during a time of rising living costs. Hollywood producer, shooting in such lavish settings when there is so much misery in the real world struck me as a touch tone deaf. While Meghan and Harry's house also contains a coop for chickens, the location house differs from the Sussex's mansion in that regard. It features 16 bathrooms compared to Lilac Lane 6. The criticisms are based on the fact that the man accused of planning a $116 million fraud against injured veterans owned the house. The inquiry against Schulhol and Quadriga for fabricating a fictitious veteran named Arnie who sustained brain injury while serving in Afghanistan was launched by the then New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman in 2014. Schulhol and his business were accused of using false mailers to solicit donations for the Disabled Veterans National Foundation charity, with the intention of keeping 90% of the money raised. According to the study, Quadriga only reported raising $10.1 million in 2008 but charged the organization $15.6 million for their services. The nonprofit went into debt as a result of Schulhol starting to receive 100% of the donations made in order for the DVNF to settle its debt with the con artists. Quadriga agreed to pay the DVNF $24.6 million as part of its settlement with the Attorney General's office. In addition, the corporation was forced to pay a $9.7 million fine, $800,000 for the inquiry, and the forgiveness of $13.8 million in charity debt. Real soldiers who were intended to receive assistance in the first place actually received it thanks to the total amounts made. In another news, Archie and Lily will receive Christmas gifts from Kate and William, but it's hardly an act of reconciliation. The Prince and Princess of Wales were last seen by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in September. According to reports, Prince William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, exchanging Christmas gifts with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The gifts are thought to be only for the children in their families, signaling that despite this assertion suggesting a rekindling of the two couples' love, Kate and William are hesitant to make peace with the Sussexes. Roya Nicker, a royal analyst, stated in the Sunday Times that William and Kate would not deny Archie, three, and Lilibet, one, a present under the tree in the absence of goodwill between the couples. And in keeping with a royal custom that Team Sussex continues to support, Harry and Meghan have also sent gifts for George, Charlotte, and Louis, who are ages 9, 7, and 4, respectively. The adults won't trade gifts with one another. Thanks for watching till the end.